and what i really like about this device it's super no fuss it's just a one click button kind of device like the next light for the blue light then you have green Hi everyone, my name is Anel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys another beauty device that I've been using for two weeks now. And that is no other than this Luma mask. Yeah, so this is the Luma mask. So if you've seen this online and you're thinking about buying it or if you're wondering if it works then just keep on watching Okay, so before we begin, let me show you an unboxing so you guys know what to expect when you receive your package So basically, when you unbox it, you get this mask, you get a charger, and you also get the serum. So there, so after unboxing your product, this is the step that most people forget to do. I mean, before I share with you guys the before and after and all the benefits of using this mask, I just want to share with you guys first to please read the instructions or the user manual first. So I know if you're lazy to do that, then you're in luck. I'll be going through it for you guys. But then again, if you decide to purchase this, please read this manual from end to end. I'll just be sharing with you guys the basics and important parts to look out for. Anyway, hold your on. Luma mask comes with one year warranty also. So if you guys see this card, please don't forget to scan this and just enter your details. It's only going to take you a minute or two and now you have warranty and you're protected with your new beauty device. So the device has seven types of light, all of which have different um, skin concerns that they address. I'll let you know in a bit what I did. If you fall under any of these categories, then this product is immediately not for you. Do not use if you are pregnant. Do not use over any suspicious or cancerous lesions on your face. Consult your doctor first. Do not use the LED mask while using any product with AHA or glycolic acid. So this can overwhelm the skin and have unwanted sides effect and stress levels on your skin so please be mindful with the products that you are putting on your face before using this do not allow children to use this unsupervised do not use if you are sensitive to light or unsure whether you have increased sensitivity to light so we'll go through some sort of patch testing later on also so do not take if you're taking drugs known to make you sensitive to light you may be sensitive to light and not know it there's a photosensitizing agent in drugs food soaps and dyes so best to be sure about these things do not use over near or recent steroid injection doing so may result in photosensitive reaction so please read this safety instructions because you might not know that you fall under this okay the manual also teaches you how to do a photosensitivity test so this is also like your patch test before trying out any new products so please do not rush into trying things without actually doing a patch test this is how you do it so you take the mask and you turn it on you just push the button like this there it's on and then you leave it over your arm like this for three minutes just time yourself and then you remove it and then do it for another three minutes and then check your skin after 24 hours so if you experience any redness itching or if you have any allergic reactions then please do not continue using this device on your face okay so now that we have the basics and precautions out of the way i'll be showing you guys next how to use this actually it's super easy lang. this mask is just a one click device so you just have one button to think of this is an led light machine or beauty device so please do not directly look at the light because that's that can be damaging to your eyes so you will notice me putting it far away and just avoiding contact eye contact with it now that i think about it maybe i'll just wear shades to be sure hold on okay so how to use this device so you click one button so one click here so you first start off with the red light and then you click the next light for the blue light then you have green light then you have a purple or deep violet kind of light. Then next, now we have a mixed green white light. And then we now have the blue light again. <laughs> and this is like a purple light, I think. 
and then lastly we go back to the red light so once you go back to the red light it means that you've gone through all the cycles of the lights okay so let me share with you guys the different benefits of these lights So once you've decided which light therapy that you need the most for your skin, all you have to do is click the buttons until you reach that that setting and then this automatically turns off after 10 minutes so it's recommended to use it 10 minutes a day but what i did was i eased my skin into using it remember i didn't start using it every day all at once because it's something new for my skin so i wanted my skin to like ease into it i used it every other day for 10 minutes for the first week and then i moved on to every day for one week after i felt like there was no main there was no bad reactions on my skin so yeah Okay, so the setting that I decided to try out for two weeks was the red one because I felt like that was the one that I needed the most. So I did, because the red light gives some preventive measures for wrinkles, anti-aging, and it also helps with collagen production on the face. Especially these days, it's kind of like the holiday rush, so everything is like super stressful. So I think I needed that extra boost on my face. So that's what I focused on. So I used this mainly at night after cleansing my face. And I also used this uh, like gel cream that they sent to go with the mask. So I'll insert here what it's called. But yeah, this is what I used on my face. Even if it has these shades inside, do not open your eyes while using it. So it's best to like close your eyes. It automatically turns off naman after 10 minutes. So what I would like to do is I put the mask on like this. Yeah, it's not super heavy, especially when you're lying down and you can't really feel the weight. Most of the weight that I feel is on the nose area here. Yeah. But other than that, it's super comfortable to wear. And since you're just gonna lay down with your eyes closed for 10 minutes, I like to play some uh, meditative music again, to relax. So it's just 10 minutes of skin and just you know relaxing while adding some benefits to your face all right now let's go to the part that you've all been waiting for which are my before and after pictures so this is day one versus day 14. i'll insert also how many sessions i had on day 14 so here There. So most of the improvement that I saw was on my pores here. I also felt like my skin was a lot brighter, especially on my forehead. Or I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining, but I felt like my forehead was a lot smoother also. Because the forehead is the, the area that's most exposed to the sun. Because we're wearing masks most of the time when we go out. So this is the part that's not really protected. So that's it for my review on the Luma Mask Phyton Light Therapy Mask. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. If ever you decide to get this mask for yourself everything will be linked down in the description box below so i just want to say a quick thank you to project beauty for sending me this luma mask device i really enjoyed using it it was super fuzz free and very easy to use seriously a click of a button <laughs> so there anyway thank you so much for watching today's video please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed and if you haven't yet please consider subscribing to my channel down below and i'll see you on my next video Bye guys!